Hey guys, it's me, Sam. Um, I don't know if you'll recognize me because my hair is different. And also, I did my makeup. Like, I this is how I wear my makeup to school. But, like, mm, yeah. I hope you guys like this look. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I don't really have anything to do. But I think me and my dad are going to go out to dinner later. But if you like this look, then keep watching. First, I'm going to start off by using this Ulta face primer. It's called the Poreless Face Primer by Ulta. I buy minis of everything because makeup expires and I don't want to put lots of bacteria on my face so I just rub it in my hands and I apply. Now I'm going to go in with the, it's just an e.l.f. concealer and highlighter duo. I just use the concealer side mostly because the highlighter doesn't really like work for me because I have olive tone skin. I just put this here. This is my winter concealer. Oh my god. Oh. thought there was something on my hair. That there's something on the lens. I just put it in places I need it, like blemishes and like red spots and to cover my huge eye bags. But yeah, and then I go in. This is a Real Techniques um, sponge. I like the pointy part. It's really dirty, I know, but I like the pointy part because it works perfectly to blend out this concealer. Now, oh, yeah, it's all blended out now. And I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Original Powder in Fairly Light. I don't really use that much, so this has been lasting me for literally like two years, and it's so good. And I still have a whole bunch left, but I just, this is, I have a Kabuki brush that's like all pink and dazzle, but I feel like it's harder than using, I just use this little Ulta, I use a blush brush, brush for my powder, it just works for me, I'll show you how, how I guys apply. I put like this much on there, I'll put this behind the camera. As you can see, not that much, and then I swirl my brush, and I just apply it to my face, and it gives me a pretty even base, but yeah, I'll come back to you when my foundation is finished. Okay, as you can see, I did my foundation, and now I'm going to go ahead and use the Ardell um, Eyebrow Pomade. With, it, it was a duo that came with this nice brush that I always use and it has a spoolie at the end and I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows as you can see I've really dipped it. Okay I've done one of my eyebrows. Um, I've decided to do one on camera because I always watch beauty gurus on YouTube and they never watch let me see them do their eyebrows so I don't think any of you really care to see my eyebrows because they're not that great but that's what they look like. I'll show you how I do the other side. I just start up here and I go wherever the top line ends and I just start filling in the places that need to be filled in. I like to give myself a little arch. And yeah, I know my eyebrows haven't been done for a while. Don't don't kill me please for that because I already know. <laughs> Last time I got them done was when Ashley took me to the mall. She actually paid for me to get my eyebrows done which is really nice of her. Thanks Ashley if you watch this. And then lastly I go down here. I always end up doing this though. Like wiping. This is always the bad eyebrow, like my other one always looks way better. But I always do this, and then it makes it look faded, you know? Like ombre. Oh, that was my cat just knocking something over, but it's fine, he's still little. But yeah, now both my eyebrows are done. Hope those are good enough. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put on 
some eyeshadow. I think I'm going to do like a sparkly pink and gold eyeshadow. And then I'm going to go for a pink glitter My eyeliner. Little, the way I do eyeshadow, at least I used to not be able to do eyeshadow whatsoever. I always go in, because my skin tone looks really nice with golds. I always go in with like a shimmery, it doesn't matter, it could be silver or gold. A shimmery color like on the lid and then I put the color that I want to complement that color on the crease and I always do the crease first and then I just pat on the shimmer on the lid so I'm using love story in my crease I'll just do one eye on camera and I don't like them to be too dramatic so I'm gonna get a mirror it's in my other palette. I hope you guys can see this. So, this is my setup right now. I just put it in the crease. And try to make it blended as much as possible. I go a little high. But if you don't like that, you don't gotta do it. And by the way, I'm using this crease brush by Ulta Beauty. It's like my favorite thing ever because it works so good. I got this on Christmas from my dad. See, that's the pink. I know it doesn't look the best right now, but you'll see. And then I just go ahead and I take the color I want. Actually, I think I'm gonna use the highlighter. It's called Star Coral and I'm gonna use it. See, it just brings it together. I love glitter and sparkles though. I just love being bougie on a budget. If you guys know what I mean, like, just makes me feel better about myself. And then I'm going to go ahead with Charm and put it in my inner crease. And then I blend that into my lid. And maybe I'll do some like... And then I'm going to do some under... What's it called? Smoking out the lash line. I'll do some of that. But I'm going to get another brush. Beer. Okay, I'm just using my... I don't know what brand this is. It's really good though. My smudge brush. And I'm going to take Fearless and put it underneath my eye. It just makes it look more put together. And then I kind of like blend it up here. And then it's like that. And then I haven't blended it out yet. So like you guys are probably like, whoa. I just take this and I just blend it out. And then it's a really, like, subtle pink and gold eyeshadow look. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my pink glitter eyeliner by Profusion. And just make, like, a simple line. I don't think I'm going to do a cat eye or anything. But, yeah. It, it's by Profusion. It came with the Mixed Metals palette that Ashley got me. And... I'm going to use this mirror because I need to, but yeah, you guys. I always go in with more than one layer with this product because it's really nice, but I just like things to look dramatic. Oh gosh, what's with this hair? This lighting though is so bad when I do this because my light's like right here. So sorry about that, guys. I'll put it lower. But there's that eye. And I'll do the other one off camera. It's funny how much quicker it is to do my makeup when I'm not on camera. Like, I did this in literally like a minute when it took me like five minutes to film this in front of you guys. But now I'm going to go ahead and do like my 
contour in front of you guys. I'm, I have so much makeup, but like, obviously I'm obsessed with Profusion. Um, using the Profusion Cosmetics Highlight Contour 6 Cuddler Highlight and Contour Palette. Um, I've used this one time, Peach Light to put under my eyes but I don't really do that every day and I'm trying to show you guys like what I would wear to school or something. What I usually do is I use warm sculpt on the face and then medium chisel to get rid of my double chin. <laughs> um, I have these Real Technique or yeah they are Real Technique brushes. They came in this little purple bag. This is what I use and then I'll be using the highlighter one from that set later. I use this one for blush. I'll show you guys that after I'm done. Because I always do blush second and then highlight third. But I use Warm Sculpt on my face with this brush. And then I just apply, apply. I'll just do one half of my face in front of you guys and then the other half on camera. Because I feel like this video is probably getting long. And I was going to do lashes because it's YouTube and I know looks come together with lashes like I always wear them at like dances and stuff but I don't wear lashes every day so I'm going to be like realistic. So that was Warm Sculpt and then I use Medium Chisel down here to get rid of my double chin and I always just blend in circles like you don't want to look muddy so yeah now I'm gonna do the other side off camera I'm gonna use dazzle from the glitter and glam sultry eye and cheek palette from profusion I mostly use this palette because I use the mirror on it you guys probably saw that earlier in the video but I'm going to use Dazzle, and I just, I get the product like this, and apply it. I don't like those girls, well, they're fine, it's their makeup, but I don't like it on myself when they, like, have chalky highlighter that, like, is a different color than your skin, you know? I like it to just look like the skin is shiny and glowy because I don't want to look like I have some chalk on my face and then I put a tiny bit right here and a tiny bit right here I don't know if you guys can see that yeah you can right now but I put it on my nose my brow bone my cheek and now I'm gonna do lips and then mascara. Got right a little back. closer to you guys because I'm gonna be doing my lips. But I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lip color in the color Pure and the Jordana Cosmic Glow Holographic Lip Gloss over the top of it. This is what they look like. Um, while my lipstick um, dries, I almost said while my lipstick grows, I'm gonna be putting on my mascara. I'm using the phone as a mirror. Is that weird? But yeah, there's the lip color. I think it went really well with this eyeshadow. This dries pretty fast, but... I don't like how it feels over a gloss, but I love the color, so like, I'm not going to stop putting gloss over it. Now I'm going to use the Tarte Man Eater Mascara, if I can find it. Where did it? Oh, it's in this little bag. The Man Eater Mascara, I bought it in a mini, of course, because you get it for cheaper and because it doesn't go bad before you can use it all. I really like this mascara. I like like a wet formula 
I don't like those formulas that are like crumbly, you know. But yeah, here we go. Just apply my mascara. I'm pretty sure you've all seen this before, so I'm gonna turn off the camera. Well, these are the eyes with mascara. The lipstick dried while I did it. It takes me like 30 seconds to do mascara, so that's pretty good lipstick if it dries that fast. Now just the gloss. Cause I like a I don't like a matte lip. Like it's fine on other people, but not my thing. Those are the lips after they're all glossed up. And that's the finished look. I really hope you guys like it. I think it, I actually really like this look. Like with my hair and like, maybe I'll like change into a different shirt for you guys or something. But like, I think it looks really nice. I'll go by the window. Whoa, bright. Okay, maybe not by the window. It's way too bright. But... My curtains are purple, so I look all pink now. There we go. The finished look. Hope you guys like it. Well, that's my finished look. That's my first, um, what's it called, makeup tutorial that I've ever, ever done. So, sorry if, like, it was kind of not, like, the best video you guys have ever seen, but this is, like, my outro right now. I'm still in the makeup, as you can see. But I wanted to show you guys the snow outside. It's really pretty. I don't know what you guys are seeing right now, but I just, I think it looks, it's so pretty. Like, oh my gosh. No school, too. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe while you're at it. Because me and Haley would love that. And I hope you like this look. So, bye.